Hey guys, so for Vlogmas Day 10, oh my gosh, it's 10, I'm so glad it's Christmas, I love Christmas. Anyways, so if you want to subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, do all that stuff, you can do that. And I'm going to be talking about my IEP experience. I I don't know what an IEP stands for. Like, I've heard of it, but, like, I'm too lazy to look it up right now. I mean, I could. I, like, literally have my computer right here. But I'm just a lazy person. Um, so, when I was younger, I had an IEP when I was in elementary. I really didn't really know all about that. So, like, I can't speak on that particular time. So, I'm only, par I'm only speaking in my high school experience. So, I was held back in kindergarten, um, so I had to do it again, and then once I was homeschooled, I then wanted to go into high school, so I was originally supposed to go into, um, sophomore year, but since I was held back, um, in my freshman year, well, like, I was held back basically before I entered the school, so I was put in freshman year instead of sophomore year, so that kind of screwed everything up. So, with that, I didn't have an IEP, um, I had one, but it wasn't, like, since I was out of school, it, like, no longer was valid, you know. So, I had no IEP basically for my entire freshman year up until, like, literally, like, I think one day before we left, like, uh, we left until the pandemic, like, until March 13th, basically shut everything down. So, it was on a Monday, and then Tuesday was the last day, and then Wednesday is when I'm pretty sure it was locked down, because that's what I remember. So, I am also so, so, I'm sorry, I'm just like, you're gonna catch a lot of me yawning, so, um, yeah. So, for that IEP experience, it was the worst, I cried, it was traumatic, my mom cried, um, well, I don't know if my mom cried, but she was very, like, she was upset, and so, this, this was the first time I ever had an advocate, and I didn't realize there was an advocate. So basically, this is my terms, but you can look it online. Basically, a smarter terminology than me is an advocate is someone you hire that is supposed to help you get an IEP specifically for school. I'm pretty sure, but then again, I can be, I can be completely wrong. I did have a 504, but it wasn't like strong enough, I guess. And none of my teachers read it, so it's like kind of like stupid. Um... So, um, that's why. So, I had an IEP. Oh, no, sorry. We were having a meeting for an IEP meeting. And let me say, before that, it was not an easy road. It was never an easy road. So, I was having a hard time with math and the math struggle. If you watch yesterday's video, basically, about my, my high school experience, it was traumatic. I hated my freshman year. Um, and it was the worst, and math class was the pain in my ass. Like, I cried so many times, I was stressed out, like, I couldn't handle it. Like, I was so upset, angry, and confused, and, like, I just didn't get it, and no one would help me, and I would try to vocalize me, ask them for help, but they didn't really understand what I was trying to ask, and it was just like, oh my god. So... Basically, we were trying to put me, like, out of this class, and it was Algebra 1, and the, my mom was told, oh, like, nobody ever gets out of Algebra 1. You have to, because it's a core class. Well, here's the thing. I'm, I wasn't there for, like, getting a high school diploma or a GED. I was only there to make friends, which I only made one. <laughs> so, that kind of failed. Um, so, it just... It didn't pan out the way that we wanted to, so it was terrible, like, leading up to, like, March, we were, like, fighting a battle, like, my mom was so stressed out, and it was, like, we had to show proof, and then, of, like, basically that, like, I had autism, and then we had to show proof that, like, I have short-term memory loss, because, like, like, I've been, 
I've been diagnosed like medically like this is actually thing and then I was just like I don't know how to do like multi set things so I had to like also do some like like paperwork with this guy um he, I, he used to be a math teacher but I don't know exactly what he was like a whatever he was higher up than a regular teacher basically Sorry, so I just had to like fill out some like math papers and basically do that and like you know, show proof of like this is what I don't understand. So like the easier stuff I understood, but like the harder stuff like I didn't get it. Like, so if I don't get, know anything, I can just leave it blank, or if I want, I can try it and then leave it blank. So it's just like, so I don't really know. That was just like. I don't know, it's just so hard. Oh, that was fuzz. Sorry, that was fuzz. Um, so it was just a bundle of stupidness. So then March happened and the IEP happened and I cried a lot. I was so nervous, it was my first time there. I was literally 16. Oh my gosh, I was such a baby. And literally 19, that literally feels like so long ago, ever since the pandemic happened, it literally feels like it was like decades. I know it wasn't, but oh my gosh. So it was just super hard for me to articulate because I don't know how to like put things into words. And it's like, I was on a time and I was just like, oh. So then I was like, oh, I wanted to like have a job one day, maybe work at Bath and Body Works. And then I mentioned math and I was saying how much I was stressed out about math. Um, never fuzz. Um, so I was so stressed out about math and I was like saying that I felt worthless and I wanted to die because like I couldn't like get it and like I tried and I couldn't get help and I mentioned that I got yelled at a t by a cold top teacher well I didn't say well I said I got yelled at in math class because like I didn't do it like I didn't take my time even though I literally knew nothing about it so you know that was a big problem and so then when, well, when I was mentioning math basically it just nearly burst into tears I was just like what so that was bad luckily I was put out of that math class literally for a day and then we went went then we went home and that was it was really annoying but we did it so my sophomore year basically that is when I had an official like IEP set in place it was real like we didn't have to go fight the battle but since I was online it was kind of like really difficult because like we didn't expect the pandemic to happen and like be shut down um and so it's just like they were they it was all new basically so it was kind of a little bit of an show, but it wasn't that and I mean, I had a really great literature teacher that I loved so much. She was my co taught teacher in freshman year. Loved her. She was a special ed teacher. So, like, she understood how, like, how our loans. I mean, like, honestly, really didn't need a lot of help from her. But, like, towards the end for this one essay, I had, I went on a meeting, school, like, meeting thing for her to help me. And what was really nice, she was like, she went in depth and it like made me like feel comfortable and I understood it, even though I hate essays, but it, like I, I got it. So I was, I was, I wasn't uncomfortable to write my essay. So then my junior year was a terrible show again. It was like brought me back straight to freshman year, specifically literature. It was literature was the painful demise. Um, for me, um, so I had this terrible teacher that was just like, she and I didn't, like, she didn't know how to teach me, and I was trying to vocalize again what I needed, and she wasn't giving me that, and I was confused what she was telling me, and it's just like, this back and forth, and I was so upset, I cried a lot, um, I was stressed, so stressed out, and I was, I was getting so confused because in my high school experience video, I mentioned that I read 
the glass castle and I watched the movie and so I answered the questions about the movie and then I was expecting to write an essay about the movie or the book or both basically that's what I was expecting because that's what I assumed you did like every time you write a book that you read in, essay, in literature so it turns out that was completely wrong it was about a high school couple and whether or not they should break up and jealousy and possibly cheating and it was just like all this and it like it had no understanding or related to the dang book so i was just like so confused it was the day before christmas break that we were leaving when well, they were leaving i was basically again online so i cried i didn't get it and I was so sort of stressed out. So my mom helped me redo it. And it finally then was like completed. I don't know what grade. I don't think it was like the best grade. But I was just trying to like I hit a 70. Like keeping it at a 70. Because that is like passing. Um, I don't know where you are. But specifically that is passing for the school that I went to. So I did that, um, I came back from winter break and had this ginormous essay. I like, it was terrible, but anyways, the reason why I'm mentioning this is for the IEP and like March, I believe, um, uh, it came all full ahead, basically. I saw the first person was to go because I had my literature teacher, my, um, math support teacher, my speech therapist, my case manager, this other person who's in charge of special, special ed, um, and he was also did my schedule specifically for me because I was special ed. So then it was science and then I think that was history it was also history so that was history so it, they're all that having and so the first person who was to go was my literature teacher and she this is what got me is she was saying like da da da, da this is what she's done this is what she hasn't done and so then when she said like oh like she didn't give the essay in january i started tearing up and i was holding my mom's hand like holding it not like death grip but it, like I was holding it because I was like I didn't want to cry so then I started getting teary-eyed and I and I didn't want to cry and so then when my mom said like hey Brenna you should leave I was like no mom no mom like I I want to stay I, I want to stay I want to stay I'm like 18 I can't stay and so you could clearly tell it was affecting my emotions um and so I just like completely like lost it meaning like I was so tired and I just like cried and I was saying like I'm dying I'm dying I don't want to do this like I'm sick and tired of this I kept pushing myself I was so tired of pushing myself and hitting a wall and I was burnt out and I said that my brain was basically like broken because I couldn't do it and I loved this specific class for nutrition and I was saying like I love that class so much that I couldn't even do that class and that's saying something basically it the gist of that so we had a it was just so then all the teachers left and it was just you know the main people that was in it so then I was just, my mom and I were explaining, like, this is what's going on, and, like, I don't understand it, and I just, like, so after the IEP meeting, like, I I stopped everything, like, I stopped doing schoolwork, work, like, all the classes, I just, like, I needed it, like, I didn't do a single thing, and, like, like, literally, I just, like, stopped it all. So... Coming into the August area, like, um, we were start to school, start school. <laughs> the day before school started, my mom had this, like, meeting. It was, like, an unhumpty meeting, and it was with my case manager, somebody else who was taking over this special ed person. Because she left, sadly, um... So then, um, what my mom didn't know until I, like, my mom and I, but, like, I wasn't in the meeting. I wanted to be in the meeting, but she said no, which sucked. So it, there was a social service person, and then we're like, what the fuck? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I understand, but, like, 
kind of not really because like what the hell so from what my mom has told me since i wasn't in the meeting was that um they were concerned i guess i wasn't something i don't know honestly i really don't understand it and so they wanted my medical records so i'm assuming my medical records like from like my like the entirety of it so that was a big fat no 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 so that was really bad my mom didn't like it she was really upset and again i was only staying there specifically for my favorite class like without that class i would have like dumped and like left so we i tried to stick it out until like august like until like mid-august i had this like eye appointment um like my regular eye appointment and we discovered something so then it was just like Ugh. And then I started getting these massive headaches, which I thought it was caused by the weather because there's like, it was like raining. So when it, for me, when it rains, cloudy, or like sprinkling or whatever, like something with like dark weather, um, my head hurts a lot. So I was just expecting that. So when it finally was sunny out the next like Monday or Tuesday, I think, um, I was still having these painful headaches that aren't really typical, like, oh, I have a headache, or oh, I have a migraine. It wasn't from that light sensitivity. And so I was like leaving class after my second period or like maybe like my third period. And I was doing that a lot because like my head couldn't, I physically couldn't take it. Like I was trying to power through it. Like it was so badly that like my head was hurting and I, it was just so hard and focusing was really hard. So that was also uh, a process. So basically we left and then supposedly like th we were supposed to have a meeting September the 13th. That was the last day of my, I was there. And so I'm still so mad. Well, not mad. I still wanted to know what was the meeting about, which was annoying. Um, but apparently now, um, that was my brother. So uh, it was basically um, the meeting had, like, assuming my teachers um, really don't know, the case manager, the person who was in charge of the, like, special ed program, basically. And then the another i think it, i don't know if it was the same person or a different person social service person so so clearly they 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 thought i was like from what i can tell my mom said that they didn't really believe my medical problem since you couldn't physically see it it wasn't like i broke my arm or like oh i'm like having a mental breakdown or like oh i want to like and I allowed myself, it wasn't like something you can see and it's like a concern type of thing where like, oh no, she needs to like leave the school. It was like headaches. And I can understand because like a lot of, a lot of people fake being sick, but it's like, we should prove to have like doctor notes. Like sure, it wasn't like, this is what we did, da 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 da, because that's not, we don't need to see my records. We would have had to sign a release form. And my mom was like, hell no, we are not. I don't think that's really, you should ask honestly, like anybody, like even if you're not just like autistic and you're just like a normal person that has no learning disability or something. Um you don't ask for medical records that's very inappropriate like why does the school need to know that that's like very concerning because then then you could literally have your like entire medical records i don't know if they would stop going to graduate high school or would would you still have them so it's just like i don't know it's like really concerning and gross you don't need to see all the medications that i need to be taking or I took or what procedures that I've had, even though we voluntarily give you them because like I needed to be out of school. So that was a huge nightmare. My IAP experiences were terrible. I don't know, uh, maybe it is easier for some people, but I highly doubt it because I was talking to someone else at homecoming and she has something, she has, um, 
autism, but she has something else. And she was saying, like, she was having a hard time with the IEP thing because, like, uh, this, her case manager was basically, like, lying and, like, saying, like, taking things out that you shouldn't be needing to do. Like, she was, like, hurting, like, the, uh, the IEP that she had and all these other things that, like, well, other students' IEP meetings, like, they were just, she was messing with it, and it's like, no, 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 you aren't supposed to do that, like, you're not supposed to do that, so luckily for her, like, luckily for her, her mom knows a friend who's, like, in the higher ups of the school board, and he was able to, like, stop it, and, like, she was able to get that person fired, but, like, lots of, it was, it wasn't just, like, a couple people, it was, like, quite a few people that, she messed up with the IEPs. I don't know exactly what she did, but, like, all I know from her is that she was, like, messing up the rules and, like, saying, like, you can't have this, you can't have this, and it was just, like, no, 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 and it's, like, again, same thing with, like, um, what I said in my high school experience video was, like, just because you can't physically see a disability, a learning disability, like, a problem, um, for school, doesn't mean it's not there like if you have proof like 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 real doctors saying this this is the proof like testing that you've done like saying this is it then it's like mm, why aren't you believing us and so that was like a big problem for her and luckily she was able to knock that down and have her IP and other IPs hopefully like back together like normal and like not have it changed because like she would, she was saying that they were looking at her grades and saying, well, like, you don't need it just because you have amazing grades. And, and she was like, well, no, I do need it, but it's the reason why I have good grades is because of that reason. No, not for me. It was just like some, I try my hardest to try to get it, like, do my, like, best. But it's really hard, and it's just, like, hard when people don't want to listen to you and you show them multiple times that this is like the medical proof, like we're not lying, we're not trying to scam you, like, like why, why are we trying to do that? Like, like there is no reason, you know. So that was just very traumatic. Uh, I highly recommend if you can afford it. That's the thing. Advocates are very, very expensive, but I was lucky enough to afford it. I needed it, but. I did want, I am curious if I would have stayed in high school, I, if we did get an advocate, what would have happened, because she did some amazing job back there, uh, for my freshman year, uh, she did, she made things go, 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 and it's like, they were like, whoa, 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 and it's like, okay, so when you bring in the, like, big guns, basically, that you get your shit together, so it's, like, fucked up, so it's like, people don't talk about this, like, it's so hard, and then you, and it's just, like, you're trying to fight, it. like, a school is so hard, because, like, they're, they have, like, so much behind them, and it's just, like, you're trying your best, but it's, like, sometimes people don't want to waste the money and time and energy on it, which I completely get it, but, like, it's so hard just to get this thing, and then after that, it was never easy for me, like, I, once I had her, do that like and once i had the iep it wasn't like oh finding the D for me it was still such a ginormous battle like especially when i came back in person it was like more like i think my sophomore was like the easiest because like like i had like teachers that were good except for like my art teacher my art teacher i was just like stressed out because like i only wanted to take that specifically to make like do a pottery reveal, but since it was online, I couldn't do that, and it was through a different teacher, and it was through a different school, so it was like, you know. So, yeah, um, that's my experience. Again, highly recommend if you can afford it, hire an advocate, and look, don't just hire, like, anyone, try to, like, look into research your really good ones, because I had a lady named Debbie Dobbs, and she was amazing, she was pricey, but, like, she got it done, um, so hopefully, if you know someone, or maybe you need someone now, or maybe in the future, that you can have her, um, 
because I highly recommend it, but it's really expensive, but it really does. It helped me a lot. My mom was like saying that was like one of the best things she's ever done because like it got to the point where like my mom was struggling and people were like fighting her down and putting the blame on her. And it was like, I'm sorry, just because I was homeschooled and I don't understand math, it's not because my mom's fault. Like my mom taught me math. Like I ended up getting sick. Like it wasn't just like, oh, I stopped doing math. Like I don't understand why people think that way specifically at that school. Um, so it was just the worst experience of my life. Highly re don't work. I highly recommend do not go to that school unless you have no mental illnesses, you have no disabilities that is going to cause a problem. You're very much a goody two shoes, and either you're super duper rich, um, where you can like literally pay the big bucks to get your way out of stuff. Um, I know that sounds mean and all, and I'm sure pe some people don't, but some people do. Um, because I had an old friend of mine say that they knew someone who did, like, drugs, and they stayed in school for that reason, or they did something, and they paid their way out, because, like, they don't need money to the school, so clearly, if you have a ton of money, and you make a donation to the school, clearly, you have your power. I mean, it's literally like the college scandal emissions. If you have a ton of money and you pay your way into school, literally, like, you can get away with it. So it's just like, sorry, I'm just a whole different, like, right at and tangent. So that was my experience. I, it was kind of like hectic, but like, again, this is like on memory that I have right now. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!